What's up guys, it's your boy PJ the Paradox Nerd back again with another video and today I'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Hot Toy Scout Trooper on a speeder bike from the Mandalorian TV show. Guys, I know it's been a hot minute since I dropped my last Hot Toys unboxing and review video, but I kind of took some time off because I kind of want to reassess where this channel is going to be going in terms of reviews, in terms of content and videos that I'll be dropping in the near future. I don't want to get really into it just because I want to save um, that kind of talk for a separate video. Uh, I think I'm going to make a, a, a separate video kind of explaining where this channel is going to be headed. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now. Uh, I think you guys are here for the uh, unboxing and review of this Scout Trooper on a speeder bike. So let's jump right into it starting right now. Alright guys, so let's check out the packaging and as you can see, it's just your basic Star Wars themed black and gray packaging with a picture of the Scout Trooper on the speeder bike here in the front. Uh, you got this band that goes almost all around the box as you can see. And as you can see, this box is pretty huge, but it's actually not that heavy. Uh, in the back of the box, really nothing special. Alright, so let's unbox this bad boy. And let's see what we got here. And once you open it up, you got this uh, uh, cover art slip with a picture of the Scout Troopers on the speeder bike here in the front. Pretty cool. And underneath that is the Scout Trooper first. All right, let's uh, put this top half of the box away. All right, so let's open up the first layer. Let's see what we got here. All right, so let's check out this uh, Scout Trooper. And damn, look at that, guys. You can see it is beautifully weathered. Nicely painted as well. So far, good uh, tailoring on the pants here. This is looking really good. Okay. Let's see what else we get. And we get a, a Grogu. And let's see if this uh, Grogu can articulate. No, you can't. You could actually just turn his head. Really love the, uh, the sculpt on his portrait there definitely captures uh, the face he makes when he is riding the speeder bike uh, with IG-11. All right, let's put that to the side. You got the satchel and you can see the satchel is nicely tailored. Uh, okay, kind of have to like play around with it to uh, open it up. So that looks pretty good. Really impressed in how the satchel turned out. Uh, let's see what else you get here. What's, what is this right here? I believe this goes in the back of the trooper. I think, I'm not sure. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Get the pistol blaster. Get a bunch of hands here. Here are all the, the hands that he comes with. So it comes with a, quite a few hands there. Wrist pegs. All right, so let's open up the second part of this. And here is the speeder bike. That looks pretty good. All right, so. And voila. Wow. That looks pretty good. 
All right, so first things first. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's the stupid freaking base. Just repainted differently. Ah, can't get rid of you. You are forever a thorn in my side. Seriously. Ugh. All right, guys. So here's that stupid base that they reuse over and over and over again. All right, so here is the base for the speeder bike. Obviously, I'm most likely going to use this base. And as you can see, pretty damn cool. Okay. Here is the speeder bike. And surprisingly, it's pretty damn light. All right, obviously, everything is made out of plastic. Uh, you can see. So far, really nice details on the bike. Here are all the, the levers on the bike, the buttons. Okay. Here's the back of the bike. And let's check out the underneath of it. Here's the turbine. All right, looks pretty good. Put that to the side. All right, let's see what else he comes with. I think these are the... Oh, yep, these are the handles for the bike. Okay, let's put that to the side. Okay. And what are these right here? Uh, these are some sort of stoppers or something. I'm not sure what they're magnetized. So I'm not sure what these are. Let's put that to the side there so I don't lose it. Here is the stand for the speeder bike base. Okay, put that to the side. Here is the stand for the Scout Trooper base. All right. Let's see if that's, if there's any more stuff underneath here. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. All right, so, um, so far, so good. This is looking pretty good. Uh, really impressed with the detail so far. But uh, yeah, let's get uh, into this review starting right now. Alright guys, so here are all the accessories that come with the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike Deluxe. And let's dive into it and check out the boring accessories first. And that is this Scout Trooper base, which is basically the same reused Sandy base they have used in many previous Hot Toy Star Wars releases in the past. And the only difference is, is that they painted grey to match the Navarro ground. 
And to be honest, I really am getting sick and tired of these bases. I really wish that they would stop giving us these bases and hopefully we could save some money. Um, you know, because Hot Toys figures are getting a little expensive. Uh, let's move on to the hands that comes with the figure. You get a pair of fisted hands, as you can see. Really nice sculpt on them. You get a pair of speeder bike holding hands, or should I say speeder bike gripping hands. This is the one you use to uh, grab onto the handlebars on the speeder bike. And you get a pistol holding hand. And speaking of pistol, here's the pistol that comes with the figure. Looks pretty nice. I wish it was a little bit more weathered. All right, you get Grogu. And I'm really digging this sculpt of Grogu. Uh, out of all the Grogus that I have, uh, that I have received, which is basically <laughs> uh, two uh, from the deluxe uh, Mando figure. Uh, this is probably my favorite one. You can see the likeness is uh, pretty spot on. The only thing is you can't articulate this figure. All right, let's put that to the side. You get the satchel. And you can see it is tailored really well. And you could actually open up the satchel. There you go. There's some padding inside. I believe this is a pillow for Grogu to sleep on. Oh, go to sleep, little Grogu. You're so cute. <laughs> All right, so you could actually uh, put Grogu inside uh, the satchel, I believe. And there you go. That looks pretty good. And you also get this thing. I'm not sure what this thing is, but you could actually put this in the back of the trooper. Just like so. You get a pair of magnets, which actually go in the bottom of the shoe. And you could actually use this to keep um, his foot stable on the pedal here. As you can see, there is a hole on the pedal. So pretty cool that they did that. Really surprised that they actually added uh, some magnets because, you know, Hot Toys is not known to do any magnets on their figures. Well, I can't remember the last time they used a magnet. Um, here is the base of the speeder bike. And as you can see, it is uh, sculpted really well. Nicely detailed. Now, these are the kind of bases I want from Hot Toys. Not this, <laughs> more of this and less of this. All right, so, and here is the pole stand that goes on the base, which kind of holds up the, the speeder bike and you can actually screw it in just like so. All right, let's put that to the side. You also get a pair of handlebars and I already installed one of them on the bike. I wanted to show you how to install the other one. So first you're gonna try and line up this piece onto that piece right there. So first line that up. After you do, then you could actually try to line up the other part right there on the hole. And once you do that, then you could take the wire and insert it in this hole right there. I'm not sure you could see it right there. Yeah. Okay. And once you do that, voila. And here is the speeder bike. And let's take a look at the speeder bike here. So you could actually remove these parts right here. And this is what holds the, the satchel. 
And I'm going to show you how to install it onto the speeder bike. Take this strap and lay it on top of the speeder bike just like so. And once you do that, then you could actually install these pegs on. Okay, so once you have installed it, then you could actually display the bag just like so. So pretty cool. All right, so here is a closer look at the speeder bike. And as you can see, Hot Toys did a beautiful job with the paint application and the detail on this bike. As you can see, there's a lot of bowel damage all around the bike itself. Really nice weathering, especially here on this part. You can see that's where the flames from the, the jet uh, thrusters are coming from and kind of made this mark here on the side of the speeder bike. So really impressed with the, the amount of detail and weathering on this bike. Uh, my only gripe is, is that you could actually notice that it's made out of plastic, especially in the bottom half of this speeder bike, which is not a deal breaker, to be honest. You really have to look at it really close to kind of notice it. But if you have it displayed pretty far, I don't think you would. My only suggestion is that maybe add some like die cast parts on the speeder bike. But to be honest, that might uh, bring the price up a little bit more or maybe a lot more if they did. Or maybe do a better job with uh, painting the bottom half of, the, uh, of these bikes. But overall, guys, seriously, that's just like a minor gripe of mine. That's just me being really, really picky. Um, but yeah, this looks really good, man. I'm really impressed in how this uh, speeder bike turned out. And uh, hopefully we get a, uh, a speeder bike from the Return of the Jedi movie, which I'm sure we will. But yeah, this looks really good. You know, there are some moving parts here, as you can see. You could lift these covers up. You could actually move the flip pedals here. The gun. You could turn it from side to side. And obviously you can move the handlebars and this part as well. Just be very careful when you are moving these parts just because they're very thin and you might snap something if you are not careful. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the uh, Scout Trooper now. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Scout Trooper. And as you can see, the detail and the weathering looks so much better on the Scout Trooper than the, uh, the Remnant Stormtrooper. You can see there is a lot of weathering on the helmet itself. Really love the armor design on the Scout Trooper. It definitely looks like the Scout Trooper you see on screen. The tailoring looks really good as well especially on the soft goods like the uh, the pouches here. The pants are tailored really well, as you can see. And that amount of detail and weathering carries over all the way down to the boots here. Now, I do want to mention that the top half of these boots are made out of like some sort of like synthetic uh, rubbery material. It is very, very thin, so be very careful when you are articulating these boots. But as you can see, these boots are nicely sculpted, nicely weathered. And uh, yeah, really impressed how, and how these, uh, these boots turned out. They're definitely made for walking. <laughs> now, I do want to show you that you could actually holster the pistol on the right boot just like so so pretty cool so is this scout trooper on a speeder bike worth it if you are a huge mandalorian fan and you love the scout trooper and the speeder bike 
then I definitely recommend you picking it up. I think Hot Toys did a great job with the weathering and detail on both the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike, but definitely much more noticeable on the Scout Trooper. Uh, the one thing I forgot to mention earlier in my review is the articulation. You can really articulate this figure from the head to the shoulders and elbows, down to the knees and feet, making it really easy to pose the Scout Trooper riding the Speeder Bike. Unfortunately, the speeder bike has a lot of delicate plastic moving parts, so definitely be careful when you are posing the Scout Trooper riding the speeder bike because you could definitely break something if you are not careful. Uh, another thing to look out for with this set is please make sure you have a good amount of space in your display case because they do take up a good amount of real estate, especially if you are picking up two of these sets. But overall guys, I really, really like this uh, Scout Trooper on a speeder bike set and I'm absolutely happy with my purchase. I'm actually looking to pick up a second speeder bike with the Scout Trooper so I can recreate the iconic scene from the Mandalorian season one, episode eight, where you saw the two Scout Troopers conversing with one another in what they were gonna do with Grogu. Uh, I might even switch out the second Scout Trooper on the speeder bike and replace him with IG-11 riding the speeder bike with Grogu. But please guys, don't collect how I collect because I am a crazy Star Wars fan and I'm collecting basically everything Hot Toys Star Wars. This is a $450 set and a space killer. So if you don't have an emotional connection to this trooper or even the speeder bike, then please don't get this set because you might regret it in the long run. Now, if you really like the look of the Scout Trooper on the speeder bike from the Return of the Jedi movie, then I highly recommend you waiting for that set because you know Hot Toys will definitely make that version. All right, guys, so that wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I hope this review helped you guys decide whether or not to pick up this set. Thanks for watching, and always remember to do what you love and love what you collect. Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.